Hello and welcome again to another screencast from Express Touch. Uh, today we're going to be continuing in a series on building a question and answer website using the Drupal CMS. Uh, in our last lesson, uh, we looked at how we could um, add snippets of code into our answers. Uh, so for example, if we look at simple PHP, uh, we were able to add um, this simple function uh, into our answer. Uh, today, uh, we're going to be uh, looking at an, another part uh, of this tutorial. Uh, we're going to be looking at how we can allow users uh, to tag their questions. So for example, if we go to one of the Stack Exchange websites, uh, if you see a question, you observe that there are two, uh, for this one has two tags. If I click on books, it should show all questions uh, belonging to books. So for example, if I click on ask questions, I can type the title of the question, uh, type in a question, and enter some tags here with a maximum of five tags. So let's uh, include something of this functionality into our website. Uh, to do uh, something similar, uh, we're going to be employing a new module uh, called the community tags. Uh, we can use the community tags uh, in uh, uh, with another module called Tagadelic. Uh, we might look at that, uh, maybe not. Uh, so to start out, let's quickly download the community tags uh, module. Uh, I'm going to be using the drush command line. Uh, in case you do not have the drush command uh, or do not know how to use the drush command line, uh, you can just download this zip folder into your sites or modules folder. So let's go ahead and download this module. I'm going to type drush uh, download community underscore tags. And that should download our module for us. Right, once our module has been downloaded, let's go ahead and enable our module uh, community underscore tags uh, yes right now that our module has been enabled uh, the next thing is we're going to look at how we can configure uh, the community module in our Drupal content management system if you go to configuration um, and you click on community tags uh, you find out that uh, you can only use these for the articles uh, content type at the moment so how can we make this work uh, with the uh, question uh, content type. If you read here, it says to set up community tagging, first add a time reference field to a content type and then enable community tagging here. So, uh, what we need to do is uh, first of all, you might want to create a new vocabulary uh, that you might want to use. Uh, for our tutorial, we're going to be using the tags vocabulary. If we click on the tags vocabulary at the moment, I believe there should be no time uh, listed here. So we're going to uh, set this time reference for uh, the tag vocabulary in our content type. So if we go back to the home page and go back to structure content types and click on question and let's click on manage fields. Uh, once that's done, uh, let's call it tag and uh, let's say time reference and set that to autocomplete time widget and I'll click on save. Right, once that's been saved, uh, you want to select the vocabulary uh, which you'd like to use. In our case, we'll be using the tags vocabulary. Click on tags and click on save field settings. Uh, once that's done, you could decide if it's a required field or leave it like that. Uh, for now, we just leave it as not a required field. A uh, number of values, uh, we're going to make it maximum of five tags uh, per question. So we set that as five and we will click on save settings. Right, once that has been saved, uh, we can now return back uh, to our configuration page. If I click on refresh now, uh, we'll find out that our question content type uh, is now being listed here. Uh, the next thing we need to do again is uh, set where the community tag is displayed, a tab, inline, or block on the content type page. Uh, we'll do that later. So let's enable community tag in here and click on save configuration, uh, which enables uh, the question to be tagged. Our display at the moment is set at links. Uh, we'll see what this does later. So we'll click that, sync terms, and let's click on save configuration. Once that's been saved, let's return back to our own page. And um, let's, for example, if we click on question one, uh, we would observe that now we've got the tags uh, tab appearing here. So if I click on tags now, uh, we can now begin ta uh, tagging our questions. So for example, I can call this PHP, uh, click on add, uh, we can call it a uh, question 
for example and we click on add so now two uh, tags have been created uh, to cancel a tag you can simply click on question for example it cancels that uh, let's call it java okay and click on add and so now we've got two tags present so if we go back to the view of our question uh, we should see our tags uh, listed here php java so when you click on php it will bring up a question uh, with the tag of php uh, let's go back to our own page for example <coughs> And if we go back to our structure content type, and let's go back to question content type, uh, you can decide you do not want yours to be a tab. So if I go back here, I might decide I want my own tagging form to be a block. If I click on save content type, uh, if we return to the home page, and I click on question one. Uh, you find out that uh, the tag uh, the, um, uh, tab is not appearing here. Now, I do not know where the block one uh, is shown, uh, but I know where the inline one is shown. If I go back to this question, and if we change that uh, display mode to inline and click on save content type, uh, you should find that one displaying right there under the question. So if we go back to home page, click on question one, and now we find out that the tags uh, block is just below. I prefer the um, uh, tab, uh, so I set that as my default. Uh, what we can do now is if we go back to our home page, so now that we're here on our home page, let's tag in that question with PHP. Uh, so simple PHP, uh, let's give you a tag of uh, PHP, and we click on add. So that should add the tag right there. So if we go back to our home page and uh, if we click on question one, and we tag of PHP. If I click on PHP now, it should list both question one and the PHP question, the simple PHP question, as under that tag. And so this is how we work with uh, the community's uh, tags module in our question and answer website. Uh, so. I think this brings us to the end of this tutorial. Uh, I'll see you in the next lesson. Thank you.